So the overview of our study is that we conduct a population-based study using Rochester Epidemiology Project, which capture more than 99% of all outpatient and inpatient medical records for the Olmsted County population to identify all incident cases of invasive pneumococcal disease among residents of Olmsted County, Minnesota from January 2002 to December 2018. We demonstrate that about 50% decline in the incident rate of invasive pneumococcal disease after an implementation of 13 valent pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, or PCV13, in Olmsted County, Minnesota. However, we observe a minimal uptick in the proportion of the disease caused by non-PCV13 serotypes, but the overall number of the cases for this group was small. Hi, my name is Max Supervit Chestachai. I am the Infectious Disease Fellow at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. The name of our project is Changing Trends of Invasive Pneumococcal Disease in the Era of Conjugate Pneumococcal Vaccination in Olmsted County, a population-based study. Our study found that the incident rates of invasive pneumococcal disease after an implementation of 13 valent pneumococcal conjugate vaccine or PCV13 in 2011 has significantly decreased from 11.1 per 100,000 person year to 5.6 per 100,000 person year in post PCV13 period. The number of invasive pneumococcal disease caused due to PCV13 serotype had remarkably decreased while non-PCV13 serotype has slightly increased. Apart from an estimate incident of invasive pneumococcal disease, our study also provide an important insight regarding the updated clinical characteristic of invasive pneumococcal disease, such as serotype, clinical presentation, and mortality. For example, the large um, majority of invasive pneumococcal disease in our population had bloodstream infection, with only small number present with meningitis. The penicillin susceptibility isolate were found in 87%, which was comparable to that described in previous study. The study has once again confirm the benefit of conjugated pneumococcal vaccine to prevent invasive pneumococcal disease and its severe complication. The Advisory Committee on Immunization Practice recommends pneumococcal vaccine for all adults aged 65 years or older or adult aged 19 to 64 years old who have certain chronic medical condition or other risk factors. So, the patient should talk to their doctor if the pneumococcal vaccine is indicated. The overall number of invasive pneumococcal disease in our study was relatively small, especially post-PCV13. This limits our ability to draw a conclusion about serotype distribution between pre- and post-PCV13 period. Therefore, the larger epi epidemiology study of invasive pneumococcal disease is warranted in the future. So I would invite all of you to uh, check out our uh, article to get more the detail on the incident rate of the invasive pneumococcal in Olmsted County. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.